Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Sunrider. We are continuing to keep the wish all in our inventory, hopefully until the end of the game. I can say this for a fact, however. We won't be splitting up the playthrough any more than this. There will be the space lolly. There will be no space lolly. That's it. No more of this splitting thing because of, oh, another hard choice. Eh. No. No, 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 no. That's it. Either we keep the wish all, or we use it, or we sell it. But that's going to be it. That's going to be it. Plain and simple. No more of this splitting nonsense. It's too confusing for everybody, including myself. Fuck that. So, let us begin where we left off. Talking to her without the space lolly. Mm -hmm. Shields approached the cell and pressed the intercom. I am Captain Shields. Welcome aboard the Sunrider, even though you're technically in jail. Have fun! <laughs> Sound effect. What do you think we want? We want your brain! You're now a prisoner of war under Article 7 of the Sarah Military Code. We will treat you fairly and respect your basic human rights to the extent required under the code. Now, uh, do you have a name, prisoner? Prototype, L7NN. That's not a name. How about I just call you Lin? Because it's similar to that weird whatever that was. Easy to remember that way. That's also a part of Chigara's name, probably in Japanese. Are you related to her by any chance? Is that how a hive mind works to prevent you people from breeding with each other or something? From what we've seen before, the prototypes seem capable of communicating with each other. Could it possibly be telepathy? But such powers cross into the realm of fantasy. Then could lost technology be involved? So you can't hear your sisters now, then? Good day. You've been cut off completely. You must be scared. Is this the first time that you've been disconnected from your sisters? <laughs> Silence. If Chikara is one of your kind, why can't you hear her, hear her thoughts like you can the others? Humph. Suddenly no words, huh? We'll just see. The prototypes must depend on their hive mind to function. Without it, they're probably weak individually. Shields left the intercom. Claude and Chikara peered at him curiously. Ano. Well, it's hard to read, so I'm going to read hers loud, too. Well, we'll watch her for now. I don't think she'll pull anything, but be careful, just in case she does. As long as we don't run into another prototype, I don't think she has much power. Hmm... <sighs> She looks kind of like a small girl now. Just a small girl. It's a little embarrassing we were intimidated by Arcadius when he was just a little girl all along. <laughs> 
laughter. Anyways, if she starts talking again, figure out what we can learn from her. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll help too. And now we're back here. God damn it, we gotta visit every single fucking thing. Where is the button? What does this do? Oh! What? No, oh, return. No, I don't want that. Where's the other place? There you are. Fuck, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to get to the research station, god damn it. Shields gently cleared his throat, trying not to scare Chigara. You're troubled. I can tell. I've got a hive mind like she does, but I can read your mind! Hi. <laughs> Completely unfazed by my bullshit. あの子たちの存在。人工的に作られた姉妹。Could they have been created behind your back? I'm sorry, Chikara, but nothing about that sounds like a normal childhood. Actually, it kind of does. Don't know if you know this or not. Doctors and scientists tend to teach their kids to be their successors. Logic! I can't tell if she's happy or sad by this. Happy that she has sisters, or sad that they're all trying to take over the galaxy, I cannot tell. I mean, what would you technically think when all of a sudden you suddenly have over a hundred brothers and sisters? Or just one or the other? It'd be rather overwhelming, in my opinion. It's just, oh, I have a hundred brothers or a hundred sisters. Oh. Okay, then. And now she's talking like a little kid. <laughs> Quite literally, because she's talking in third person. Nobody is questioning your loyalty, Chigara. We would never have made it this far without your help. You would never betray us. She falls deeper in love with us. <laughs> Why, because you're embarrassed? Silence. Why is she talking in third person little girl voice? Or some not little girl voice, but little voice talk little girl talk. What the fuck is she go is going on in her head? Is she hypnotized or brainwashed or something? 
She's behaving very strangely lately. Why is she suddenly talking in third person like that? That's very strange. Little kid like, but very strange nonetheless. Chigara backed away, smiling at shields. <laughs> That depends. Are you going to make us a cake or are you going to make us like a muffin or something? Really? Poor naive Kaito. Alright. Goodbye. Bululu. The fuck is that screen back there? There's a picture. Okay then. The saga looked into the, out the viewport, into the distant stars. Her reflection floated in the abyss. When there's parentheses around the words, that means that it's inside their head. Not outside of it. Just saying. She has a... Her reflection is very creepy to look at. Have you seen this face? If you see that face, you are running in terror, because it's a fucking ghost. A terrifying ghost. Yet if you look over here, it looks normal. What the fuck? I understand the fact that the glass is not directly at us. We're looking at the glass from an angle, causing it to happen like that. So that is technically accurate, based on how she's standing there. I understand that. But how the hell does it look that much more creepy just from that little bit of an angle and the ghostly look what the fuck Asagayo. duh what the fuck she really does have split personality well then <clears throat> that is terrifying <laughs> that is absolutely terrifying I told her you'd be running in terror because it's a ghost. I told ya! Do not fear. I'm a war machine out to kill everything that moves. I am a part of you. Don't be afraid of me. Don't be afraid of me! <laughs> Think about how you feel. You know I am the embodiment of your emotions. He feel me. <laughs> oh my god, evil ghost person is talking to me. That's what she's thinking. <laughs> See? She's just like, what the fuck? There's a ghost. Why is she in me? I'm just crazy. That's gotta be it. I'm just hallucinating. <laughs> yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> At last, your powers have begun to bloom. By germinate, she means like the flower kind of germinate, which basically means to, to bloom and then to pollinate other flowers and crap like that. Not in the animalistic breeding kind of way. She's basically saying, finally, your powers have begun to manifest. Soon you shall become just like me, an unstoppable instrument of justice to kill everything. 
I am the Empress of the Universe. Yeah. I will now get you to try and betray your friends. They're holding you back, you know. He doesn't notice you. But she has been noticed by him. Chigarha has been noticed by your crush. Senpai noticed me, not my other the younger Kohai. Nanji was Sharunari. Sekai ni Sabakyo Kudasumuno. You are the Empress of the Galaxy. You must have a king or an emperor to stand alongside you. Go get him. She's, she shares the face with the evil one that must be killed. You know she can't be trusted. I won't let you kill them. Chikara won't betray us. She's my friend. You're losing your chance to gain that emperor. She's getting away with it. Go full Yandere simulator on her. Hurry! His trust in her shall be his own undoing. For then we shall kill him for not being able to have him. Bleh. Ooh, ghost noises. You must defend this ship. You must defend him from the evil one. Because you know you want him more. That's the only reason I'm telling you this, because I'm a liar. I'm an evil ghost, and that's just how I roll. No, I won't listen to the evil ghost person. No, ni. I don't know where I got the knee sound effect from. Where the hell did I get that from? No, I don't want to become a Yandere. No, knee. Get out of me, evil ghost. Expulsion. What the fuck ever people say to get rid of ghosts. Bleh, salt behind the shoulder. Eh. What? Eh. Why are you talking to yourself, weird lady? Agasa turned around and came face to face with Sola. Ah! As she's completely scared shitless by Sola standing there being like, what the fuck is going on? The vision quickly vanished as quickly as it had appeared. Her face flushed as red as her hair. Does it matter? You were busy yelling at the at the window. You sure you don't need to talk to somebody about this problem that you're having? Ah! She heard the whole goddamn thing. Oh my god. Was it like being on one end of a telephone call? You, you know, like if someone's talking on the phone and you can't hear the other side? Or was she secretly saying the other side at the same time? So then Sola heard both sides of the conversation. Does she know that Agasa isn't really just crazy? <laughs> no, you can't tell the captain about this. No. I'm so embarrassed. Sola sat down on her bunk. Hmm. <laughs> So Chikara is not the only one troubled, although for completely different reasons. Because Agasa has a new voice in her head that doesn't like the way she does things. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs>
All right, fine. I admit it. I'm troubled by something. An evil ghost. Promise not to laugh. <laughs> hmm. I didn't expect you to say yes. What do I say? Yep, she just flat out she just flat out admits it. I don't know how to handle this situation. I didn't expect you to say yes. But I do know that the Ryuvian court was filled with evildoers and other people like the Shar. Just weirdos. Ryuvian court was filled with weirdos who want to kill each other. Lust, envy. Okay, so we have two of the seven deadly sins. What's the third one? I can't think of it. Craziness. They slowly try to eat you. Om nom nom. <laughs> Until you become the Shar. I told you she was the evil ghost. I told you. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Agus is like, you're not helping. Easy for you to say you're not going through the metamorphosis into one of those people. <laughs> she does so! She just hides them really well. You're not a recluse, Asaga. You don't know this very well. She's just good at hiding them. And very hard for her to show them, that's all. But she still has them. So it's just like, ugh. That hurt. One would rather not f feel nothing rather than feel pain, right? Wrong! The answer is wrong! Bad, Asaga, bad! The answer is wrong! You can't feel happiness if you feel nothing. And you're just some crazy machine person. Like the Shar. I'm sorry. I've overstepped my ability to think straight. I've, par I've apparently made the problem worse. And hurt myself in the process. I'm sorry to have tried to understand what you're going through. I'm merely an imitation of what you are. Forced into doing things. Like the military and being blown up. Sora? Huh? What? Then I shall return to the abyss that I'm usually in. Peace out, bro. Sola fell down and pulled her blanket over her head. Wait, 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 wait. With great power comes corruption, arrogance, paranoia, and most importantly, death. Okay, so, that seems about as good a time as ever. Well, maybe not, actually, now that I think about it. Because I've noticed this bad habit where I forget that I have to leave like two or three minutes extra for syncing the video and other things. So yeah, maybe maybe now's not the time because I, I always forget that. For people who have noticed, my videos get shorter than 30 minutes. That's why. <laughs> it's because I forget that one crucial detail that I have to plan for 
for more than just 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Of course, right? No. I cut out certain things, so I need to add in more. Okay, keep going. Will history repeat itself with this new Char? And back to the store. Okay, okay, okay. Where is it? St Captain's quarters. Where the fuck is it? Union frigate, those things are garbage. Oh, so it is only 10,000, okay. I think I've already bought most of what I want outside of the freaking spread field. Portable shield generator, don't need that. Liquid on the site fuel. Blackjack and Paladin's energies. I think we've already calculated that. That won't do much. Versus the... I mean, that'd be a cool thing to have. Armor penetrating rounds. That would be nice to have. Increases command cap. Another good thing to have. Anything in here? Can't afford anything. Can't afford anything. Can't afford anything. Can't afford anything. No. 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 Okay. Oh! This is the research station. Ooh. Okay, so we got nothing. What do we got down here? Oh! And we were just there, too. Of course. Hangar baby, we got nothing. Okay, Ava, what you got? What you got, pirate? Oh, shit. Oh my god, she's a siren. She's a siren now. From Borderlands. We need to go to Pandora immediately. We need to pick up the vault key. We need to go get... We need to go loot everything in the world. Because she's now one of this... Oh, wait, wrong arm. Fuck. Wrong arm! Sirens have the blue tattoos on the left arm, not the right arm. God damn it. Shields sat beside Ava. Ava's bed in the sick bay. <laughs> Ava regained consciousness. Huh? Why are you here? I have amnesia. Fill me in. We found you in the auxiliary control room, all smashed up to shit. The medics barely managed to get you into the nanotank in time to save you. That's why your arm looks all weird and shit. <coughs> don't push yourself there, Ava. We don't want you to die or anything. After all, we spent all that time trying to save you. We don't want you to die on us. Uh, it's complicated. Oh, and you did it. Congrats. You saved us from death. It's been sunk. You're the hero of the combined fleet now. At least on the ship. You saved everyone. Ava finally relaxed and sank back into her bed. Oh, <sighs> glad that's over. You'll be in sickbay for a while, but Claude somehow managed to patch most of your good looks back together. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, I mean, uh. <laughs> Baka. <laughs> what the fuck just out of nowhere? Come on now. Jisai. <laughs> Well, your right arm looks like a candy cane, and you'll look like a pirate on your face for the rest of your life. Otherwise, you're fine. We managed to regrow? Regrow? What the fuck? Okay, so apparently they can do that. The coloration should naturally go away with time. And plenty of use with your arm. 
As for the eye, I managed to get my hands on a on a freaking robot eye, courtesy of the Admiral. <laughs> you won't be a pirate for the rest of your life after all. Should work even better than your old one, I hear. <laughs> May the ghost of that ship burn forever in the deepest pit of that star. I can only pray the galaxy will never witness another weapon so terrifying. We nearly lost you. I don't ever I don't ever want anything like that to ever happen again. <laughs> Only until another day, Ava. Only until another day. Sera <laughs> It's nice to be able to breathe for once, isn't it? Yeah, that, that would be totally swell. We'll do that uh, some other time. Together. Way far, assuming that the mountain's even there, I mean... Never mind then. We'll do that. Eva closed her eyes. Get some rest, Eva. It will be quite the recovery. But at least it will be an easy one. Fuck! Yeah, shouldn't be a problem. Don't worry about it. Three days later, Ava's about ready to kill us from how bad of a job we've done. Shields stroked her head as she went back to sleep. Good night. That just about covers it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all in the next episode. So... Ava's actually not dead. She has some creepy arm that got regrown from a lizard tank or something. She now has a robot eye, although we won't see it yet. And asaga has gone batshit crazy. What the fuck could possibly go wrong, right? Uh. Alright then, well... Yeah. Don't forget to check Twitter because again, these videos are going to take forever and a day to re-upload. Not re-upload, but to upload. Because I decided to try and increase their quality. Needless to say, 1080p, 60 frames a second, is very freaking big for a file going up to YouTube. With my kind of internet. So, I think it's about 2 gigs each. So, that takes a while to upload versus a third of a gigabyte. And believe me, it takes more than 6 times as long. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, as always, good day and good clicking. This has been the end of the first episode from the great split between Lolly Pirate and Keep the Wish All. Good day and good clicking.